Hello, in this video I will show you a couple of simple things but you do need to know where to find them to actually use them. First of all, I will show you how to generate random numbers in C Sharp. This is very simple. The whole thing is native to C Sharp. There's no third party or anything like that. And then I'll show you a simple solution on how you can generate letters and say for example symbols as well all kinds of uh, all kinds of hashtags and uh, semicolons and things like that uh, so the application quite simple we have program.cs this is a simple console application program.cs and then a couple of uh, classes for different features and here we have in the main program we write line first of all this this int and double and then generate random characters. Uh, now you saw the little console that prints out the values and everything works perfectly. And let's start with the numbers now. Uh, we have a um, couple of uh, methods here. Generate integer, generate int like that, and then generate double, okay? So you have two options. One is sort of better than the other, or works better, or you have more choices than on the other one. So this is the generate int, generate integer. Now, what we use is something called random, a class called random. So you construct new random class, and then to generate the integer, you simply use next, the method next. In it, you don't have to provide uh, much stuff, okay like say for example i can delete this okay and it will work fine this is the minimum value it won't have any maximum value that's not good enough i prefer to have minimum and maximum now maybe you have a use case where you don't those options do exist right so we have 100 to 2000 and it will generate any number in that interval and that's it it will generate it it will return it and then this method will in turn return that and it will print not exactly the same with the double okay the double is a bit more tricky you can't actually uh, provide any minimum and maximum value okay what you get is anything from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 and that's it okay that's it. That's all you can do. Now, there are some techniques on, on how you can sort of improve that and, and uh, uh, do a bit more. You might use uh, uh, next and then you just uh, add the, those decimal points and that's it. Uh, uh, there are several ways to do that, but it's not very reliable and it's not as simple as the integer. Okay. So this is how you generate those numbers, two options with next. You get an integer and minimum and maximum options and then with double you use next double and you get uh, a simple double value and that's it uh, now i do recommend taking a look at my c sharp course you'll learn more of these useful things you'll learn how to use c sharp in a proper way you'll learn uh, useful stuff about c sharp useful features will be explored uh, it's not just basics of C Sharp, such as classes and interfaces. There is something actually useful that can be seen in the in that particular course. You might also want to check out my C Sharp Advanced course, where I show you even more of these useful C Sharp features, such as using the streams in a correct way or accessing C++ code from uh, C sharp. So do take a look at that. The links are provided and now we can take a look at the letters, okay? At the characters. Uh, uh, random characters I call this class and it only has one method, okay? One static method which re returns a string, okay? We also need another list or rather one list uh, of letters, okay? This is a sort of dictionary of, of letters that we have. Now, you can have more letters, you can have characters, not just letters, you can have semicolons, you can have uh, backslashes, slashes, uh, asterisks, things like that. And with that, my best use case, uh, what I use this for sometimes, uh, is a password generator. I like to provide those password generators for users uh, 
I do believe they are useful and they can sometimes really prevent some real accidents. Uh, it's simple to make. Uh, you see, you just have to enter maybe a few more letters, maybe a few more choices, and then you'll run such a method several times in a loop, depending on how many characters you want. You'll add them to a string and you'll have your new password. Now, use cases aside, this is how it works. We have a randomizer, right? We do from zero to four. This is the maximum index, okay? The maximum index in this list, four. And we simply provide that as the index for the letter we want to pick or for the letter the program decides to pick because it's all random. So this is how you can generate those letters and this is how you can generate those numbers and with all that said we will conclude this video.